Hello everyone, welcome to this video and I will be reviewing one of the newest toys that I received recently, it's called Tour Box. You might be wondering what it is, uh, we will know more later but I really have a confession to make, I am not a professional digital artist or a pro user of Photoshop but I do use Photoshop regularly and um, I am pretty pretty dreadful with the shortcut keys that you know comes with the software like Photoshop and Lightroom and this is my savior. Let's learn more about this thing. So this is a tour box uh, packaging as you can see it looks very exclusive and very nicely done. The tour box uh, itself looks like a game controller or game pad but it's not very lightweight as well but pretty solid to be held if you can see here uh, in the box you'll get the throw box itself so it has the USB-C charging port and then you have all the buttons here with the dial and everything it does look like a game pad but it's not right <laughs> honestly and then this is the cable you had a cable and some documents and uh, that's it there's the box and um, yeah, it looks pretty exclusive and I love the color. So if you hold it, it feels quite lightweight but solid at the same time. And uh, ergonomically, I think it's quite uh, nicely done because you can hold it with one hand and you can control most of the buttons with one hand. So before we can use the tour box, we need to download the software which is available here in the link given here. So you, there's Mac OS and Windows, download the version of your OS and install it on your uh, PC or laptop and then it will ask you to connect to your toolbox then you will get this window where you can change all the presets so there are a few presets available there Photoshop, Lightroom and Premiere and all that but you can customize it according to what you want it comes with the D-pad as well or at the side there you can see the kind of like the transparent uh, pad where it's also indicating the uh, what are the four buttons for the up, down, left and right button so because you can change uh, by pressing the uh, the control uh, button at the side and all that so but all this you can preset according to your liking right so you can just click on the buttons and change you can also download the preset or create your own preset uh, before you start using it so let's check out how it looks like in the photoshop so you can see the screen here uh, the d-pad is indicating the buttons that I have I'm scrolling to enlarge the brush size I can change according to what I want from brush to eraser to whatever I preset earlier and um, you know if you have pressed the control button I get to see more tools available so I don't have to use my cursor or my mouse to actually point to the tools at the side there I can just press it directly on the uh, toolbox which is very very handy I can even zoom in zoom out I can uh, increase the uh, brush size and all that really cool because I don't have to memorize all the shortcuts and like now I'm brushing through the artwork that I have here you can see I can change the brush size as I as I you know uh, paint or brush I don't have to click the uh, control button to minimize up and down and all that so yeah pretty pretty handy when it comes to this and in, you can even program it to change uh, different things like uh, you know the brush size here that I'm demonstrating uh, you can color it and then as you color you can just move the dial to increase or decrease the brush size I think this speeds up a lot of process and um, if you go to the color palette and all that and then you will be able to choose other colors uh, specifically according to your liking by kind of scrolling the dial itself rather than clicking on the uh, you know the, the the panel so you can you can see as I move the colors are being selected uh, up and down you can see there so I think this is really really helpful uh, especially when you are using only one hand to control everything rather than using more than uh, you know two hands to press certain key, key uh, controls and to also to press certain shortcuts so I think this is really really handy to me you have to have lasso tool you can change your lasso tool very quickly and then you can even activate other functions available in the d-pad like crop and all that without even have to you know specifically click on the tool or rememorize all the uh, shortcuts that we normally do 
right so i really love this and it helps a lot in the process this is for lightroom i'm not really a heavy user of lightroom but i really find this useful as i move my cursor to certain element i can just use the dial to quickly change the tab color temperature and all that and to you know to make use of the easy dial rather than clicking on the bar and all that also i can preset certain things like i can view my original uh, photo and then compare it with the uh, the things that i've adjusted and all that and uh, change to hue saturation and all that. this is all just beyond it is not about shortcuts alone i think it makes you feel like you want to use all this editing software even more Honestly, this really improves the workflow experience. It's not just a shortcut uh, controller. It really helps you to make your editing smoother. So if you want to get it, just go to uh, Toolbox website and you can get it for 169 retail and they ship worldwide. And uh, if you get the link that I shared below in my description, you get $10 off. So you get it for 159 So grab this chance to uh, get a discounted item and try it out yourself. And let me know what you think in the comment section so that's all about toolbox neo uh, do check it out and uh, if you ask me whether you really need this maybe you don't really need this if you're not using the uh, photoshop lightroom or uh, premiere regularly but you can always uh, you know discover more about how whether this tool will help you in the editing process and um, yeah, do explore and check out the website for the latest updates of this particular tool. Thank you so much for watching.